What's up, y'all? You know I really don't like adding a lot of accessories to my ATVs because in general it's a mess, but this is actually a pretty nice light bar, um, and it really helped the P500 with its junk headlights. So um, I'll show you a little test we did at Holopaw at night, uh, how the lights look, and then I got a little install video for you, how I mounted it and some of the features. Um, I did get this light as a promotion, um, so I'm just testing it out, uh, but it, so far it's working really nice and it feels pretty high quality. Um, if you look in the description, there's a link to a 20% off promo code uh, for this um, manufacturer's light bars. Uh, the manufacturer is Novesight, so uh, if you're interested, check out the description below. All right, so we're on location at Suburban Estates, Florida, also known as Holopaw, testing out the uh, Novesight light bar. It's currently on the warm color temperature on the uh, what index, Charlie? It has a uh, rather rather good CRI, color rendition index. Color rendition index. Let's see what the full white looks like. Charlie, go white, please. There's full white. Oh my God, it's bright. Useless white. Man, oh, mix, though. the mix is yeah, okay. I kind of like, like a mix. I'm not gonna yeah. lie, I like the mix. <laughs> Heading up the power lines. That's how it looks. That's with both the white and the amber lights on. That's a pretty impressive degree of trail illumination. All right, guys, I did it. I finally caved and put a light bar on something. This light bar is made by Novesight. Um, full disclosure, they sent it to me to test it. And the only reason I agreed to test it is because it has two light modes. It's got a high beam that's white and a low beam that's a yellow. So if you know anything about, I don't know, science or common sense, Bright white light is not good for your eyes. Your eyes are used to the temperature that the sun puts off, which is kind of a yellow tint. So white light just blinds you and everyone else. So it's pretty annoying and stupid. That's why I got this one. So it's got two buttons up here, a little control panel. This is the white one, which is kind of a high beam, but this is the low beam, which is a yellow. And this is actually a useful color temperature. Um, at night, you can see more details with that and it's a lot better for your eyes and not blinding people. So I have blinding mode and then not blinding mode and off. You can have one or the other or both. And this little switch panel works pretty good. Um, so I'll show you how I installed it. Um, I first drilled two holes in the roof and mounted it to the roof and that was pretty stout, but it came with a bunch of really nice mounts. So I wanted to find a way to utilize some of the other ones. So the first mount it comes with is just an L bracket mount. That's this guy right here. So I mounted that on there and then I got it adjusted where I wanted. And I started playing with these mounts. It comes with four of these um, and all the associated hardware. So I have a whole nother set I didn't even use. Um, this mount is curved so you can mount it at any angle and it's got a nut that goes in this slot. Uh, so I just put a self tapper into the roll cage there and then into the light. And now it's on really good. It actually reinforced the roof. So I didn't want the light bar bouncing around on the roof because it eventually loosen up the hardware. So now it's bolted into the roof here and it's self-tapped into the cage here. Now self-tappers aren't great. I may eventually replace this self-tapper with a through bolt um, if it comes out. But I like where I mounted it. Um, it's shielded from trees. You know, trees are gonna slide over the top of this thing all the time, squeezing ATV trails. So anything on the roof is gonna get ripped off. So I wanted to make my, sure my snorkel and my, um, my light bar was beneath the roof line. Um, the reason I needed light bars is because these headlights are fish tanks. Uh, because someone put aftermarket bulbs in them that didn't seal properly. So they're they're about useless. I'm sure they'll stop working soon. So I needed a light source and uh, got an email from this company, Novesight. They said, hey, you want to test out our product? And I said, actually, I have the perfect thing to put it on. And I nailed it with the dimensions. I mean, it is the perfect size for this Pioneer. It fits right between the roll bars. So I was able to tie it into everything really well. And I, you don't even really notice it there. It's, it's pretty tucked up in there, pretty clean. Obviously, I need to test it out at night. Uh, one more thing to mention, it's got this neat setup where the LEDs are actually, you see them right there, they're actually pointing down into this lens and then it projects forward. And it does kind of make it a little bit less blinding uh, when you're walking around. It doesn't catch you in the eye as much as like the regular flood light bars do. So pretty neat design. The hardware feels good. Let me show you the cabling. Um, so what I did was I ran, this is the power wire. It's three wires coming out of here. I ran that up along the roof back to this big waterproof brake connector, pretty big gauge wires. That comes down to this relay bank. Um, you have two relays for your two light temperatures, the white and the yellow, and then that goes to the battery. Nice inline fuses um, straight to the battery. And then there's a remote. So um, 
Oh, I took the excess and I tied it up down here behind the gas tank because um, I didn't feel like trimming it. Maybe I'll get rid of that eventually, put some butt connectors or something. So maybe I'll solder it. Um, then there's a remote line that just comes back, follows the power line. That's this white connector. Um, this connector doesn't look as waterproof as this gray one, by the way, but this is your remote. So this comes up to here and I have it come over here to here. So I didn't want more wires in my dash or anything. I wanted to have the minimum amount of wires run everywhere. So I just ran the remote back along the main harness. It's not hard for me to sit here and reach up and touch this because, well, it's a Pioneer 500. But the buttons seem to work good for now. I don't know how waterproof this button assembly is. We'll test that out thoroughly, I'm sure. Um, this thing will probably go underwater at some point too. But I'll make another video after I've had it for a few months on an update, how waterproof the relays are, how waterproof the connectors are, if I have any issues with it. Um, if I do have some issues with it, I will probably um, hardwire it, um, no relays, and I'll just have power coming right up to it, and of course a fuse. Um, and then I'll have a big switch up here, and I'll probably just have the yellow wired up, because that's really the only one I'm gonna use. Um, it does get a little warm, so I can tell you this thing's definitely putting off some serious wattage. When you have them both on, you can feel the heat putting your hand in front of it. So it's definitely a powerful light bar um, just from that. I mean, LEDs you know, are much more efficient than anything else, but they're still putting off a lot of heat in this thing. So uh, it's got a lot of cooling on the back. I'm sure it's not a heat problem for it, but it's definitely a powerful sucker. It is lighting up my roof a little bit right there. Um, that might be kind of annoying at night, but when you put it on yellow mode, it's not nearly as annoying, right? Because it doesn't have that white reflectance to it. So uh, I think it'll be just fine. Yeah, there's yellow, there's white versus yellow. So I like the yellow amber mode a lot. I'm glad it has that. But yeah, this is gonna get tested out tomorrow at the compound. Who knows if we'll be there late enough to need the light bar, but we got the 32 Aztecs on there. We got the forward arm mod done. Uh, front lift shock mounts done snorkel to everything bump the idle up and uh next thing is gear reduction and front locker my front locker just shipped so maybe i'll have it out for next weekend